Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial for text tools. Um, today I want to show you um, how you can adjust existing models in text tools without actually having to do much in Blender. So you don't have even to actually uh, delete meshes there anymore. So first I want to show you how you can directly in text tools um, um, merge and also delete parts of the model. So as we can see here, I'm here in the tab um, Bastille. This is one of my mods, and I want to get of uh, I want to get rid of this thing. Now, if I go into Viewer Options, I can actually like see since I have like um, done a lot of metadata on this um, on this mesh. I have a lot of mesh materials actually, so I go through and be like. Oh yeah, great. So this one, which I want to delete is on mesh free. So I'm going back in here and now I can go here on edit model. By the way, if you are like wondering how we get in here. So if we are going to something else and then to the Bastille, basically the only thing uh, you need to do is click here um, on model and hope that it updates because this is not the Bastille. There's the Bastille. Also, just as a short warning, since my text tool loads very slow right now, um, the textures might not fully load for everything that uh, we want to do, but I can assure you that it all works. Just give it time to work. I just don't want to make you guys wait like five or six minutes uh, until everything is loaded. So um, without further ado, so we want to get rid of this thing. As we have seen, it's actually mesh model free. So I can go here into edit model. And now I will have here um, all the stuff from when I'm also like um, import editor in the previous text tools. And I can go here to group free. And here I have either the mesh, delete mesh group or I can actually delete single parts. Since I want the whole mesh group to be gone, I can just click here on delete mesh group and then click here on confirm and that's already do it. So if I'm clicking confirm and let text tools do some of its magic, which we probably, there we go. Now, as you can see, now it's gone. So by just clicking confirm, I'm saving this to TTX for now. So it's actually staying visible. And there you go. You can just basically delete whatever you want on the mesh you want. Um, if you are unsure what part is what, you can always like um, export um, export the mesh. So I'm just gonna turn this into two. Oh wait, uh, let's call it three. And then I'm just opening it here again and I'm saving here the address. Opening this here in Blender and just showing you fast what you can do. So just click it, import it, and you don't have to do much um, with it. Just make sure that when it looks like this, you just simply click down here on the pre window view. So it's shaded. There we go. And as you can see, it actually is still in there. Um, so the model is not broken or anything. Um, if you want to know what mesh number something is, you need to go under the end root. And here with those orange triangles, it's going to show you what what is. So this is going to be 0 0.1. So this is mesh group 0, part 1. And as we saw, this is part 0, 3.1. But I can just delete the whole free mesh group because it's not anywhere else. If I wanted to delete, for example, the cloth in here, it would be on mesh group um, one. Oh wait, let me actually, let me move it. So we can actually see what we are doing. There we go. So, so as I was saying, um, if you want to, uh, for example, delete this part, you just go in here and check, oh, so this is mesh group one, the dot, and then it shows also the parts. If I go in here, this would be mesh group three, part one, but I can also just delete the whole mesh group three. And you don't have to export or import it back. As I said, like uh, it's very slow with the textures, but 
you can see that it worked. And the next thing I want to show you guys is actually um, how we can um, merge mods together. Like um, for this set, I have all, I have actually made um, a necklace as well. And we want to um, merge it in here so I don't have to use um, a necklace um, slot for the um, for the uh, for the outfit. So I can go here into merge models and if I click on this, just give it a moment as it's working. I can decide if I want to have a Final Fantasy model, which is basically things that already exist here in text tools or an external model if you have an FBX or something. In my case, I want to click on the Final Fantasy model. Yeah, don't mind my text tools working for its death. <laughs> so merge models and I can go in here let text tools do some work. Shouldn't do. At least shouldn't like freak up anything. But basically what we want to do uh, or what I want to show you guys is how you can merge different models together even if they are not from the same gear slot or actually what is helping you when they are not from the same gear slot. So I'm going here to the Bastille back. And um, in my case, I want to have the necklace here, which is also from the set, which is when I go to Abyssos Choker, because this is where I have it. There we go. Um, need to have a moment. There we go. Loading the item. As I said, don't mind it, it's on my computer a little bit slow because I'm actually actively working with text tools, like also for modding and everything. So um, it might be a little bit slow because it has a lot of textures and already models already in. So as I can see here, this is the hero Midlander female and my tough boost here was also Midlander female. So this works. I'm just going in here and I'm highlighting this and I hit control C and I'm just gonna use this address for making it merge the two models together. So I'm going back to the tough bustier, which might take a moment, but we are patient babies here. There we go, back to bustier. And now the cool thing is that um, together with this merging models, it will actually um, also add all the textures you need and everything. And uh, with the new material setup, we can have up to, I think, six or eight uh, materials or even 10. I'm not sure, just we can have a lot of materials um, by now. So I'm going here to merge models, clicking here on Final Fantasy model. And now I'm adding here the um this is um the address that i saved from here on the other model as i can see it says here materials and texture will be copied to destination wood folder and models are identical because this is here midlander female and the one that i copied from is also midlander female so it's fine i want to copy the materials so i just click here on merge models and as i said uh it might take a moment for the um, for the textures, but it's definitely working because I have used it already a few times and just wanted to make a short video like what magic you can do with this, even if you have no idea about Blender. So I'm merging the models, might take a moment. And my model copied successfully, so I click on OK. And then we don't care for this for now. And as you can see, now I have basically the arm plate removed, but I have um, the necklace added and I have still the bustier and everything is working ideally in, um, in, in game as well. And if I go here now, I can see that the two other, um, um, the two other textures for the necklace has been added to the model as well. Um, another thing, if you're going um, on your, um, if you're going on your model, or we don't actually need to go on the model. I think this is loading too much. So let's stay on the texture. The moment I can select it again, we 
just need to be patient. Also, like the the most important things you already saw. So this is basically what I wanted to show you guys because it's like so awesome that Cell gave us this opportunity and the option to do this. And um, even if people are like, oh, I want to get rid of certain stuff on my armor or on my gear, they can do it without actually having um, to understand any bit of uh, Blender. Maybe being able to read um, maybe being able to read um, the mesh um, number so you know what is a mesh group and what's the, what is a part number. But otherwise, I think we are giving textures a little bit too much. But yeah, like I said, it's like really full for me. Um, otherwise, what I just wanted to show you guys is um, if you want now to change on your model, for example, the metadata, like you don't want to show now necklaces because we already have a necklace there. So you simply click here on the burger menu, even if it's grayed out right now. And then basically you can in view, edit metadata. Um, you just click on it. Aha, there we go. So I'm gonna be in here. So this is how it normally looks like. Um, so we are clicking on here. And if I go now to view, edit metadata, you come back to the metadata settings we had back in the old text tool. So this is where you can adjust the racial models and also the visibility settings, which are normally looking like this. So you can click here on advanced and then show head, show um, body tail. And for me, I would hide here, um, show necklace because I don't want to have a necklace there because I already have one on the model or I keep it on and um, can just um, add other stuff on it. The variants are here as well, um, just as the metadata flex and the variant parts. And then you just click on save and everything is done. And since I'm in a transaction, I need to commit the transaction or you are using the system state to, to um, unsave. So it's actually instantly in game and that's how you do it. And I really love the option to just um, merge things together, even without having to open Blender and um, adjusting this, this smoothly is like a great thing. So thank you a lot, Cell. Um, I hope this was understandable. I'm sorry that my text was a little bit slow. Like, uh, like I said, I'm happy when we are back to our um, old setup with Penambua, so we can like divide it a tiny bit and have the, um, have the auto update there. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, um, join the DM, uh, DMR server, so Dark Moon's Realm server, which is mine and Shana's, um, otherwise text tool server for love and uh, compliments to sell, also if you find any bugs. And I hope this was helpful and well, see you hopefully soon again. All right, bye bye.